Hello guys, Winston here. I wanted to put out a quick little video about a simple trick someone shared with me for cleaning up end mills, specifically ones used for cutting aluminum. Aluminum, being a relatively soft metal all things considered, can end up sticking and smearing against your end mills if you do a lot of dry machining or suffer from chip recutting, which is a big risk in deeper cavities. And once that happens, it can blunt your cutting edge and make it harder for chips to flow smoothly out of your flutes. So every now and then, as my cutters get abused, I'll throw them in a bin for reconditioning at a later date. And here's what that restoration process looks like. I'll first start by mixing up a bath of warm sodium hydroxide. You can buy sodium hydroxide or lye in powder form for clearing clogged drains and the like, but here I'm most interested in its ability to dissolve aluminum. I do about a teaspoon of powder in a half cup or so of water, or however much you need to submerge your cutters. Lower concentrations will work just fine, it just acts a little more slowly. You should of course be taking basic safety precautions here, like wearing gloves and safety glasses and working in a well-ventilated area. Zirconium nitride coatings are immune to the effects of sodium hydroxide, and as far as I can tell, plain carbide is barely affected, if at all. So if you want to play it safe, you can stand your end mills up in the container and submerge only the coated part. But to be honest, even if there's any erosion on the shank, it would be on the order of microns. The aluminum gets eaten away at a much faster rate, so I just completely submerge my end mills. You'll see bubbles forming as the reaction takes place. After about 5-10 to 10 minutes of soaking, depending on your concentration of sodium hydroxide, your ZRN coated end mills should be returned to their bright gold finish. Some larger chips might take longer to be dissolved, but you can also just scrape them off. When you're done, give your cutters a thorough rinse off and pat them dry, then dump whatever lye you have remaining down your most used sink drain. This trick can't magically restore your end mill's cutting edge to the sharpness it was when it was brand new, but with the surfaces free of any aluminum buildup, you'll have restored the chip clearing potential of your flutes, and that means many more hours of low stress machining. For cleaning substances that aren't aluminum off your end mills, you have a variety of solvent choices. I like Goof Off for getting rid of adhesives when I accidentally cut into double sided tape. You can also use WD 40 for that, and also for cleaning off buildup from cutting wood. I've also heard people chime in with acetone, isopropyl alcohol, saw blade cleaners, really anything you'd normally use as a cleaning agent on metals around the shop. Just remember to keep a couple layers of paper towels between you and the end mill when you're wiping it down. Carbide does a really good job of leaving paper cut like slices in your fingertips, don't ask me how I know. A couple minutes of preventative care every few months will help you significantly extend the life of your cutters, even plain carbide ones without any fancy coatings. So this is a step I highly recommend for everyone. Hope this tip helps, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with more CNC content soon.